Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Mortis here and welcome back to Tarkov. So, we got a couple of quests that we need to turn in and one that we missed. And I'm ashamed that I didn't see it until now. Because as we did all those lovely things at Woods, we could have finished the Tarkov Shooter Part 1 as well, had we only taken in the Mosin. Unfortunate, but we do have a couple of tasks to complete here. We have Shootout Picnic. Which, we don't have any room to put any of this stuff except for the money. Uh, and we have... Survivalist Path Part 1. Which will get us another fuel tank. Oh god, I got so many fuel tanks already. I just don't, I don't need any more fuel tanks right now. Oh joy, it's this one. I, yeah. Mm. And the delicious sausage head... Sausage fashion. I may have had a small stroke there. The delicious sausage. <laughs> ah, Streets of Tarkov. I I should probably learn that a little bit more, learn where all these places are before I decide to go in in earnest. But yeah, I don't know if we're going to do that today. Woods, hey, we'll take that because chances are we're going to go back there and try to finish off that last scav. Uh, we'll take scavs on, oh, that's on factory. Well, we'll take it anyways, why not? And then we have Find and Transfer, Makarov, and a Pistol. I doubt I'm going to find those, but if I do, I can just go and collect that and go move on. So, let us go ahead and figure out... we got to move some stuff around here. So I can stow that, so I can grab the Mosin. And we'll grab some ammunition for said Mosin. Let's throw that in there, there we go. And I think that's pretty much all we need to worry about doing at this moment in time. Let's go to the hideout real quick. I think we have a couple of things that we can complete. As we spin, spin, spin. There we go. So we got vents. Perfect. Uh, need a bit more stuff for that, but I can do this real quick. Put you and you in here. That's a little bit of room. And we'll go ahead and bust down that wall. And we can do the next upgrade as well. Bust down that wall further. And... What was the other thing we needed? Security part 2, which I think that took away... Nope, we just need to find that guy still. And uh, over here, we're going to go ahead and do a craft. Because we got the thing going anyways. We're going to go ahead and craft the CMS kit. Because... I'd much rather have that than the Serve 12. Just takes up too much space. Let's go ahead and grab... Where did we find our AFAC at last time? You... I'm gonna put on the mustache. You are... Nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen. Let's see if we can sort. Do we have enough room to sort? Yes, we do. Hey, and there we go, AFAC. And what was the other thing that we had in there before? We had the catalog. Go ahead and put that in there as well. Uh, yeah. So I guess that's pretty much it. Hitting everything. So let's go ahead and head into woods and just see if we can get that one final kill on the scav. 1253, sounds good. Everything is insured still. Do I insure the mustache? It seems like a silly thing to do. Nah. We'll just go ahead and go in there. See if we can get this final one done. And then uh, that experience should put us a little bit closer to 14. Okay, needs to be a 40 meter headshot. We are over... What am I getting stuck on? We're over... Where? Wait a minute. Okay, so we're over by... Sunken Village. Or are we... No, this is... This is Scav Village. That is a... I've never spawned there before, I don't think. That is... Entirely new. Alright, something is going on with my keyboard or something, because this is the second game now where... Suddenly, it will just stop moving forward. Like my W key is messed up or something. I 
But I have to give this thing a nice little cleaning. But now we have a decision to make because... Yeah, because of that. Definitely clear that a couple of players found each other. There's somebody here, too. It's just a scav. I'm not going to get 40 meters on this guy, though. I beg your pardon? Alright, in fact, I'm not going to mess with the scav. Unless... He can't move in that way. I'll give you an Octahirli boot. Those definitely don't count. And I've probably drawn the attention of other people, so I'm going to move away from this. I think what I shall attempt to do is go up to the sniper ta uh, thing. See if I can plink him from a distance. From a distance. Or if that other scab comes outside. Don't think I'm going to get that look. Alright. Try our level best to get up and get to this kill so we can get out of here. If we can, we can just get the kill and then immediately just jump into the SUV and get out of here. Pop our butts up here, see what we can see. If I don't have an immediate line of sight with the sniper scav, I may just chill up here for a minute and see if he shows his head. That's what I currently need of him. Just his head. Not sure where those bullets were going. There we go.
Looks like somebody has finally gone down into the thing. Would you like thermometers? He's quite lootable. Do I dare? Been relatively quiet. I'll take a little bit of damage on the legs here, but... Oh. Alright. I'll take all the damage then. Fine. Be that way. See if I care. It hurts. It hurts so good. Is there a perception to No. 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 Uh, the question is, is the pain going to go away? Wow, that actually messed up my legs a lot more than I thought it would. Got there, a little HP. No, thank you. Of course, it's going to slide me off of there, because why wouldn't it? Because that's precisely how Tarkov gravity works. Wow, this place has just been barren lately. I used to get freaking gold chains and clocks and everything up in there. Now there's just nothing. We got there. Bows and sniper? Nice. I'll take a little extra just in case. Alright, the question is do we go for the vehicle or do we head that away? We do know that there was an SKS over at the vehicle. They may have moved on by now. I wouldn't mind more of the scav rep. I say we go check it out. Worst case, if it's not there, then we have the... Uh, the back way towards the sunken village that we can go to. Might as well while I'm here. It's off the beaten path. It's also completely empty. T bees it. I think that's decent ammo there. Think. Uh. Increase penetration. That sounds like. Useful information to have. Oof. Although it does have a silencer. What if I should do that? Aha, they'll never hear me coming now. I'm like a fart in the wind. We're going to take the high road, we're going to come around the side here, we're going to go to the waterfront. Then we'll peep from there to see if the vehicle is still available. It's only 
always interesting to me how I think Woods has become my comfort map. It was interchanged for the longest time, and, like, I would love for it to become that again, but until they fix the lighting in there, there's just no way. But just something about Woods, like, it... In other maps, I'm always feeling like I'm constantly on edge. And for whatever reason on Woods, I just feel calm, cool, and collected for most of it. I'm still looking around, obviously. Like, I'm not going to just wander around just going, la 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 la, these are pretty trees. But, I just don't feel that anxiousness that I feel on other maps. Like, I feel, on other maps, I feel like at any moment in time, I'm just going to turn a corner and there's going to be a Giga Chad who is just ready to open up on me. And here, for whatever reason, like, granted, there are Giga Chads and snipers every once in a while, but just more of a calming, relaxing attitude over here. Can't see it. No, it's still there. It's really interesting. I wonder why this person didn't take it. They may still be in the vicinity and looting. We're going to have to be kind of careful there. And if they have an SK, it's going to be a bad time. Let's check it, make sure it's not counting down already, and it is not. That's actually a curious question. I have never actually checked when somebody initiates this thing like that. Does it start a countdown for everybody? Like, if I did not pay into it and double-tapped O at this moment in time, would I see the countdown starting? I would imagine that would be the case. That would be, you know, that would make sense. I've just never tested that theory. It's hard to test, obviously. I'd have to catch somebody actively using it and then check it for myself. Hmm. I'll have to think about that and keep an eye on it. 20 seconds, 18, 18, 17, 16, 18, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, I was slow! <laughs> I I'm glad I took a little extra time there. Holy crap, I about screwed myself just from poor timing and counting and such. All right, so that quest is now complete. We're done with woods for a little bit. We'll have to figure out where we're going next. I might, I might go to reserve and just do that quick uh, underground one. The thought. It is definitely a thought. I might actually go on a scav run real quick. God, where am I going to put all this stuff? <laughs> all right, you go here. You go here. We're going to sell you. Uh, go wherever you can fit. That's pretty much all I got. <laughs> there's, there's no more room at the end, man. We're, we're out of space, I think. Or I think we'll take this in for the... Uh, for the reserve run. Let me see. Let me do this real quick. Filter. Linked search. Let's see what I have in way of brown or magazines. Let's kind of filter down here. Magazines. So I can get 10 rounders. And that's it. That's wow. Oh, wow. Loyalty level two. I'm close. I'm close. Let's go ahead and turn in that quest so we can see how close we are. Complete. 50,000 rubles. Uh, shoot any... Oh, God, that's right. I have to do that thing, too. Maybe I will actually hang on to that... Uh, this Mosin. 
Because then I can do that quest. Three in the legs, two in the chest, or something like that. It's going to be a pain in the butt, but... We'll see. Alright. Let's do a scav run. Let's take our scav. Where do we want to go? What do we need? We need machine parts. We need the small WD-40. I think we're going to interchange. Speaking of the devil. We'll head over to interchange. We'll see if we can find a couple of the bits and bobs that we need at the back of Goshen. And then we'll uh, press on. Oh, that loaded in a lot faster than I thought it would. I got a nice sized backpack as well. All right, so we got 33 minutes. God, we are just right at the cusp of this freaking raid. This is going to be interesting. Hang on. Be gone with you. I can't hear anything. Hello, friend. You have anything interesting on you? No. Yeah. Feel like I just heard running. Hard to tell. I heard somebody just raise their weapon or something. <laughs> well, I injured him. He definitely sounded like he was, uh... He was hurt. Yeah. That was a close. I almost got him. I knew I heard someone aim. You know what? I probably should have called out to him. We might have been able to partner up. I should really try and do that. Just be like, hello, I am a friendly scav and would love to take the scav exfil with you. Oh well. Alright, uh, what are we going to do about this? Because I can't actually get any more... Do I have any magazines on here for it? I don't think I do. No, I just got the 10 rounder. Well, no, I got this. Does that fit in there? No. That would make sense. Um, I could take in a Keter. That'd be funny. Hang on. Crapboard, what did I complete with you? Pro oh, the woods walkthrough. That's right. Didn't complete that. All right, cool. So, yeah, let's actually do that. Let's take a Keter in. One of these is... That's 100%. It's got PBM. Holy crap. All right, so we'll bring this over here. Bring this up here. We're going to bring this... Uh, we're going to need the whole thing, aren't we? Nope, we just need that off so we can put... Nope, hang on. Wait. Wait for it. Wait, I'm confused. What is this? The suppressor adapter. Do you have something on there already? You don't. What am I missing here? What is different? Oh, Keter B versus Keter. I gotcha. Well, we should be able to repair this up to a point where it's not going to get stuck too bad. 88%. Yeah, I think we can work with that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so... And actually, I think we have some decent ammunition for this thing. We got the B the BZs. I think we could use that. This guy's got PBM in as well, so we'll use that. I actually have a little extra... Actually, I got a lot of PBM left, so we'll go ahead and take that in.
Now, can we put any sort of optic on here? Probably not. Yeah, doesn't look like it. Unfortunate. But that's all right. We'll just deal with it as is. I think this thing's pretty laser beamy anyway. I think we should be good with just this. All right, so we are going to go to reserve. That's going to be a thing. Hang on, let's go back real quick. Okay, let's hydrate. Let's eat some peas. And... Ricorad Cola. Perfect. All right, let us go into reserve. It's been a while since I've been there, on purpose. Uh, I don't really care enough about this Keter to ensure it, honestly. I think we're just going to go in with it. All right, mustache, protect me. We're going into reserve. We know what usually happens there, but I'd love for it to not. There are... Oh, this is a good spawn, actually. Well, didn't mean to do that. Is that the locked door? Okay, I was confused. Little Eurovision there. I really want to loot those cabinets, but I really shouldn't. So basically, we need to go down, we need to go to the little switch, and then we need to go to the other thing. Is that right? Look at the underground bunker, look at the control room. Yep, so that's the only two things I need to do. I don't need to survive, I just need to find them. This is going to be kind of a rough sell because there are going to be people that have gotten here before me. So I think I may take a little time here. Might be able to use that for the uh, mutant. Okay. I'm not going to take that motor because this thing is already weighing me down a ton. I can get out with this thing and figure out a place to put it within my storage. Be able to sell it on the flea market for a decent price. Oh, I thought I was hearing something. I didn't say to reload, I said to... <sighs> I should probably skedaddle because I'm pretty sure those gunshots are people from upstairs.
All right, so where specifically does it count the bunker? I guess once you get through the ponds and whatnot. Running away. Okay, scavs. Or raiders. Ten rounder. Is that everything that I needed? Oh, I have to survive. I do have to survive an extract. Okay. Yes, I hear you yelling out there. That should bring on the raiders. I'm trying to decide whether I want to loot all these cabinets or not. a lot of potential for keys. That scav is just, like, permanently angry. I don't know if this is going to get me killed, but I feel like it's worth it. I now feel like it's less worth it. I heard two grenades.
This is part where we fly! To the wrong area. Raiders. <laughs> ah! I tried to get out of there. <sighs> Wake maker, really? Wow. All right, so I still have to survive. Unfortunately, I lost. That was some good stuff. That was some good loot. Ah, well. It is fine. We shall press on. Though I know not where. Where do we go? What do we need to do? We still have to technically survive it. Right? But, uh... What is this? Kill one more PMC... Maybe we get stupid, take this thing into, uh, well, no, because that's still slugs. Ah, I need 15. I need 15 so bad. What, what tasks can I do? It would be a quick win. Oh, this one. Just such low experience. Seventy four hundred, fifty three hundred, forty five hundred, eight hundred. And where am I at? Uh, fifteen thousand remaining. Rud nuggets. All right, so. Uh, we could do. We still have uh, scav kills on customs, right? I'm pretty sure. Or we could do this guy. We could do that guy. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll go back to woods one more time. I do enjoy a good woods. Alright, so what do I have in terms of armor and everything? I don't really have much of anything anymore. I mean, I have stuff and such. I have room for things, but... Let me go ahead and take that so I can grab... Ragman... We have the... Nope. Alright, we're gonna have to take one of these. Where did you end up at? There you are. Right, cool, so... Let's go ahead and strip this... Back off of here. Put it under there. Drop this out so we can get rid of the T46. Well, no, I didn't want it to actually. Ah, whatever. That's, so we can put that in there so we can come back down to here. Grab this LP. Top it up. And. Need a rig. So we'll take this guy and just empty him out. Okay. So I have a propotol. If I have a propotol, okay. So we could do, we could do this quest, which, ugh. I hate it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna do the other thing. So we're gonna try to do a twofer. So, what else do I need to do here? We can drop that off. We're gonna have the propotol. We're gonna have the refreshments for after the fact. I think. Pretty well good and set there. Grab a smirch. And we'll grab a just a small backpack. Nothing too major. 
I'm not expecting to do a lot of looting here. We could bring this out. There we go. Actually, we could put that on. Be slightly better. What I currently have. Why is it down there? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. I think we are good. I think I actually... No. We are not good. I want to... We have a 5.7. We have the M9A3. Let's take this in. Do we have any more mags for this thing? 5.7, 5.7, no. Okay, so let's buy a couple more because we're going to take that as our... We're going to take that as our combatant sort of thing. ST, ST. Let's go ahead and unload. Oh, God. Hang on. Up, up on that. We'll put that down there. I don't know why we have that. And it's starting off with GT. Let's go ahead and unload this thing. Okay, so it is full PSD. That's fine. Cool. Alright, so that's going to be our basic firing, and then we will take the Mosin Sniper, which let's repair that real quick. We'll take that in so that way we can do the legs and arms, or legs and chest. Hang on. Legs and head. Legs and head. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Did I uh, finish off? No. Let's go ahead and... Less worried about the water, obviously, but we do want to have our energy up there. So let's just, uh, just worry. Hey, and our CMS kit is done. Ah, we're fine. Let's just go back into woods. 6.30 in the morning. Go ahead and ensure all. Let us begin. See if we can knock this one out of the park in a single run. Basically just leg a scav three times and then pop him in the head. Or leg two scavs. Either or. Wait, did I... I got the same spawn twice in a row. This is literally a thing that has happened. Amazing. I should have probably checked if there was a distance requirement on this. Forty meters away, alright. So again, not gonna happen in the village. What is going on with this gun? Apparently decided that it was shooting waffles. All right, well, that's a lot of stuff I have to fix now. I'll fix those up and then I will start the propotol. Because that'll heal me over time. Just is the iron sight? No, it's just I'm 
so confused. I mean, I know I'm bad. I'm terrible with pistols. I will freely admit that, but... I feel like some of those were on target. Let's begin. Okay. This one fully loaded up. Does not give me hope if I run into a PMC. <laughs> Just mainly get the thorax done here and then we'll be all right. Didn't even bring anything for me. All right, so we got snaps going on up there. That does not please Morbo. I think I need to meander away from all of this. Oh God! Whoa! Blinded by the light. God, the slow regen. This is going to be a whole thing. And I'll just... I'll just say it right now. The... The propital effect that's going on right now? Where it's like miniature flashbangs? Not a fan. I was going to say it. Not a fan. I'm going to have to file a complaint on this one. 2 out of 10. Would not recommend. 3 out of 10 with rice. Alright, so... We can try to do the sniper scav again. Don't know if I'd worry about getting his legs specifically. I think I'd just go for the hit if I can. But we shall see. We shall see what is available to us when we arise. Slight incline. Can't do it. I feel like checking this toolbox for no particular reason. I'm glad I checked that toolbox for no particular reason. Or BZ. I can't take the golden state because that'll hydrate me.
Oh god, it's done. All right. seeing the sniper scab but we did hear some shooting over there so the sniper scab may very well be done machine parts need you and I'm kind of looking at you Mr. Ratchet Or not, I need to put you up my uh, up my butt as well. I mean, technically, I could do this. I'm pretty sure the sniper scav's done. So let's move on. I'm gonna go a different path this time. Let's not just run down that hill. We know what'll happen. Call it the old yeetus deletus of my legs. If I could ask Nikita one question, it would be, why is PRS still in this game? Is it just like, is it filler ammo? Is it there just so you have this little, like, twinge of hope? This inkling of hope that you're about to loot something useful and then you see it and then you're just disappointed. Is that what it's there for? Because legitimately I don't think I've ever seen anyone use it honestly. They've only ever used it as a meme. Most of the time, unless you get an extremely lucky shot with it, you're not getting anything out of it. Alright, so I think my plan is to go to the sunken village, and then up to the scav bunker, and then over to scav house. Hopefully, between those three, we'll find a scav that we could shoot from a decent distance. I'll be good on food and hydration and everything for a little bit, so I see no reason not to try. At some point I really need to go back and learn all the secret stash spots here as well. I remember doing that a while ago, but only a few of them stuck in my brain. For whatever reason, like, Shoreline is the number one spot for me with when it comes to stashes. I can remember basically almost every spot in Shoreline. But, uh... And, I guess, interchange to a point, but there's not that many on there. But for whatever reason... Woods just, uh... Never really clicked. There's a couple that I know general locations of, but, uh, like I know, let's see, I know one, two, three, maybe three. I know where three are that I could probably get to just about every time. But I know there are so many more than that on this map. In fact, if I remember correctly, there's one... 
No, it's not here. It is over that side. What is that? That looks really odd. Yeah, it's just a telephone pole. All right. I thought there was something more to it, but apparently not. All right, let's see if we can find a scav to leg over here. Plane. Been a while since I've heard one of those. Wait, what the hell was that? The plane just coughed. It's not too far away. It's also something I have no desire to mess, to mess with, you know? I mean, potentially it would be a spot that I could go and try to get some cheeky leg shots and headshots set. But I don't think I have the skills needed to do so. Oh. Oh, itching. Let's not be doing that now, game. Been behaving yourself so far. I am definitely shooting waffles. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it, man. Just chill, chill. Here we are again, once again, having to do surgery on our frickin' arms because this pistol can't penetrate anything at all. I thought I heard some rustling, but I think that's just me. And they're not, like, it's, it's all arms. It's just all arms. Shoot me in the chest. That's why I have chest armor. <laughs> what you're doing right now is illegal. And I still have yet to find a scav that is far enough away for me to actually do the quest. All right. Blown through the entirety of that medical kit.
One more. All right. And then we could reload, and then we can get back on. I think this is kind of the only issue that I truly have with Tarkov. Well, I have many issues with Tarkov, but specifically this right here. Like, this is not riveting gameplay. I appreciate the realism of having every individual appendage have it to, you know, having its own health supply and whatnot, but... Here's so that one worked. <laughs> Take these as a backup, not that I ever get a chance to actually shoot anybody. Sprats! They knew, they knew I was coming. It's a sign. Everything is gonna be okay. So, just get a fresh mag in here. Let's see if we can find ourselves a scav or two up here. There generally is one, usually. Although we may get to the point where we may want to skip it, just because so many of them like to hang out in the side woods or in the center of the thing that we're never actually going to get a chance to shoot them. So maybe we just head directly to scav house. We'll take a peek. PTSD from that Taz sounding. I feel like I heard more than just those two. Once again, not far enough away for us to do what we're trying to accomplish. I'm going to have to probably take his shotgun as well. I didn't actually grab those bolts. I realize this. 
Oh, I did. I wonder why I was showing that it didn't have room. Weird. Cotton beanie! No, just the eggs. Yeah. I think we're going to have to drop this guy. Take a shotgun. It's lugs, so at least there's that. Where'd I shoot that other guy that had the shotgun? I think he's back in the village. I can't go back there. I was gonna say he had a better shotgun than this one, but. All right. Seriously, we need to probably just move out. Yeah, we got 15 minutes. I just see. Yep. All right, now we got to go deal with that. Behind there. Or Oh, I don't like this at all. Let's go down here then, and we'll do another repair on the arm. The old chain for our troubles, at least. This is just ridiculous. Oh my god, I have so little. I'm just going to have to do the uh, the head and the thorax and just leave it at that. Everything else I'm going to have to hold off on. If I get one more bleed, I'm done. Why do I have Golden State and Ibuprofen? Right, because I looted one. And I just never took it out. All right. Now, maybe it'd be a good idea just because we have so little left in there, we'll just put the arm in there. All right, so... Needless to say, I'm a little concerned now, a little frightened. Maybe we, uh, 
Maybe we'll go hit USEC camp, see if we can find some additional meds. This has just gotten extremely dangerous. If I take one more bleed, heavy or light, I'm not going to be able to stop it because I forgot to put the Calic back in. <sighs> Alright, yep, let's go over here. Fingers crossed. meds. Actually, I'm going to drink that real quick. The Aqua Marine, because it does actually give you a little bit of energy as well. I'm, however, desperately running out of time to be able to do this mission. So I think we just gotta... We just gotta do a thing here. The reason that I'm going this way is because, again, I always forget where the mines are over there, and I'd rather not find out with my face. Go over here and greedily check the secret stash. Because at this point, really, what do I have to lose? I've gone through everything that I came in with. This is actually kind of ridiculous. Really? A bandana? That's all you're going to give me? I didn't. I had a choke. I've got a choke now! Ha ha! I don't think that's going to matter much because I'm using slugs. But, i got a choke now. Look at me go. And I'm- oh no. And I'm bleeding again. Hopefully this will get it. Okay. No more bleeds. No more bleeds. No more bleeds. I just need to get... Oh, crap. Not what I wanted to see. I'm gonna have to slow roll this now. There is just no way in hell we could take a firefight. 
Is that at me? I don't like this. I think he went down inside. All right, we're just going to have to try to run this and hope for the best. Entire plan to come here and do a mission has utterly failed. Well, I say that. We got the uh We got the dehydration done at the very least. Riveting gameplay and all that. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get the opportunity to do the one that I really wanted to do. It was gonna get me more experience. If we would have been able to get both of them, it would have put us over the edge, and we would have gotten to 15. But unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. I'll be honest, at this point, I'd just be happy to get out of here alive. did not go at all according to plan. <laughs> oh, good lord. And it wasn't that many scav kills either. That's the crazy thing. Ten K remaining. Yeah, if we would have gotten both of those missions done, that would have put us over to 15. Ugh. So frustrating. Holy shit, this is a long episode, too. <laughs> I I got lost in the sauce on that woods run. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, yep. Dropping the fat beats. But, I mean, we did get out with some good stuff, so, you know, not all was lost, but at the end of the day, I kind of wish we would have been able to do the other one. I think it's this 57. Brings us Wounded Beast, which that would have been great to have, because I would have been getting a few of those. Ah. Oh, well. It is what it is. It be what it be. We'll definitely get it on the next one. So, with that in mind, it is time for me to pause. I thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you on the next exciting adventure. Adios.